All right, let's get the ghost transmitter module and its receivers updated, as well as the hybrid board. First thing we're going to need to do is download the update updater. So just go to the Mergen RC uh, website uh, under products. You can just click on the ghost and then see uh, the ghost hybrid and then see latest ghost stuff. So this will just take you down to the bottom of the page uh, right here in firmware downloads. We'll scroll down a little bit and this is what we need. Updater version 1.5. So go ahead and grab that guy. And download it real quick. All right, just finishing up. Um, and so now we will open where it is. Now this isn't, this is still uh, zipped up, so you can just hit extract all and go ahead and extract it. I'll just extract it into here. All right, and now here is the uh, installer exe. So this is what's going to install the updater. So we'll go ahead and double click on that guy. And then it's going to ask you it protected uh just hit more info and run anyway. All right, and here we go. So um, it's going to pull up the installer. We're just going to click next. This is where you want it to go. I'm going to pick a different place. I'm going to put it in this folder right here. I'm going to go ahead and put ghost uh, updater. So that's where I'm going to put it, right there. All right. And so just click next a few times and install. Installs very quickly. Um, and then you can just run it from there. However, just to show you where it is and how to get to it in the future, um, I'm going to pull it up for you. So here we go. I installed it here, Immersion RC folder, and this new ghost updater right here. All right, and here's all the files that just installed. The one we're wanting is Ghost Updater EXE. Go ahead and double click on that one. Now, and here are all your versions. As of today, March, what is it, 11th, 2021, this is the most update version. Um, now, if you're updating the hybrid boards, really anything, you're going to see that you need to update to version 1.0.2.6 and um, that's not on here but 2.6 uh, is actually inside this um, this version of the firmware right here anyway so just go ahead and click that latest one and then with my ghost module on right now I'm going to plug in the USB cable to the top of it all right and then let's see, it showed up right there in that uh, COM port. And then basically it's as easy as clicking that button right there. It's going to boot the ghost module into bootloader mode, do all the flashing that it needs to do. And this is, it's very quick actually. One more little thing and finish up. There we go. All right, um, my ghost module rebooted. And then right here is extremely important. Please rebind all receivers to update their firmware. And we'll go to the bench to get that done. All right, so now we're at the bench and we need to update our hybrid boards or any uh, really any of the uh, ghost receivers, the Addo, the Zepto, the Addo Duo. Um, and we need to bind it. Now that we've updated our ghost module, we need to bind it, rebind, and update all of these receivers. So it's very simple to do. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is go into the ghost menu right here. Don't worry about the flickering if you see that. That's just the frame rate of the camera is different than the screen. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go in here and then go into bind and bind plus setup. So in here, I'm gonna be, my protocol is gonna be ghost. And I'm going to be 
uh, binding my sixth quad right now. So this um, board is actually gonna go into my number six quad. So I can change that. Um, if you wanted to bind it to something else, really you could just change that all the way up to 15 or 16. Um, but I'm gonna be doing number six. The rest of the stuff uh, doesn't, for me, doesn't really matter. It's just RSSI and link quality, which I don't watch. So um, at this point, then I will just start bind. And so it's binding. Now I'm gonna power up the quad. I've just got five volt going to this uh, ghost board right now. So I'm gonna power it up. And it bound pretty much instantly. It's gonna ask you to update the firmware. So of course I'm gonna go over to the right and update. So now it's going to update the firmware. This takes, um, I don't know, about 30 seconds or so. You can see the red on the VTX right now, um, LED. If that shows up, it's just kind of bright in the camera. That um, means that it is not outputting video at the moment, which is a good thing. You want that when it's updating. All right, finished programming. Now it's verifying, making sure everything's good. Like I said, this takes about 30 seconds. So if you're out in the field and you're in a pretty intense situation, you might want to go ahead and get this done beforehand um, so that you're not sitting on a block trying to update everything. However, it does bind very quickly. All right, so it says uh, success, press to continue. All right, so right now it looks like everything's all good. However, I bound to um, model six, right? Receiver six. And so receiver six should turn this on. However, my um, selector switches, which I'll show you actually in here. So in Team Race, um, I'll go down to the Team Race. So in here you can see my um, model selector switch is channel nine, which is a three position switch. My group uh, selector is channel eight, which is also a three position switch. Right now my switches are in the RX1 position. So if you look, uh, for instance, you can see it changing right now, the RX uh, model or the, uh, RX, the receiver number right there with whatever I switched it to. So that's group one, quad one, quad two, quad three, group two, quad four, five and six, and then group three, quad seven, eight, and nine. That's how I have mine set up. Um, and so for group, for quad six, which is the one I bound this hybrid to, I would go to here. So now it's in group six. However, um, this hybrid is still blue. It's not, that means that it's not selected. Um, if I go down to receiver one, it turns to green. That means it's, it's selected. However, I didn't bind this to receiver one. So what we have to do is we have to reboot um, the, uh, well, or basically we need to turn off the receiver. And then I'm gonna go back into bind mode with this guy. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go back into bind mode. Bind plus setup, don't use regular bind. I think that just uses the last settings. Um, always use bind plus setup just to make sure everything's set correctly. We've got ghost and I want to bind this one to receiver six. All right, so I'll start that bind, power up the receiver. And there it is bound. All right, so now we can see if my switches are in, right now they're in the receiver one position, down and down. If I turn to receiver six position, that's four, five, six, you can see now it's selected. So we're all good. And then because my video is set to work on this switch right here, you can see green, that means video is outputting. Since I turn it off, 
it's not outputting anymore. So everything's working perfectly. If I have video on um, and I switch my quad over to another quad, you can see right there, it turned video off immediately. And now this receiver is not selected anymore. Can go right back to it if, uh, with video switch still on. Go right back to uh, quad six. Look at that video comes on instantaneously. And then um, the receiver is selected and I can arm and fly. So that's it. I mean, there's really not much else to it. The board is updated. You'll have to go back through uh, once you update the ghost module. You'll have to go back through each of your receivers and update those, but you can see how quick and easily it really is. Um, so have fun with all that.